hello 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 welcome back to the channel all right you guys so we are going to tap into your energy today 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 and see what's going on if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have the playlist link below in the description box for you um all the information when it comes to me will be in the description box all right so i tried one thing with this park when i come here you guys i really just i'm trying to get it when no one is here and it seems like you know everybody like where i live it's like everybody looks like they're retired or something because it's like they're still at the park and you know i guess it's the area because if it was decada i think people will be like at work <laughs> but for some reason I'm seeing like people, you know, but this looks like this this look like it's a worker, so because they have their little vest on or something. So I'm gonna try to get into this read gems and hopefully no one comes over here and sits down because it would be so awkward. Alright, so um let's just see what we have. And that's the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so let's just see what we have for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Guides. What is going on for Gemini's energy? What is the energy for Gemini's? What is the next 48 hours looking like? Yeah, we're gonna do a 48 for gems. The energy. A lot of you need to stop spending. I'm seeing hardship here. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, oh, okay. Oh, Forty-eight. All right. So <laughs> I'm just seeing a lot of situations still on your plate within the next forty-eight hours. I'm also seeing like working on multiple situations that are going to be successful. Because I'm seeing like you're wearing a crown. Like this is what your energy is supposed to be. So a lot of you are thinking about multiple things at once or working or dabbing into multiple things for income. And I'm seeing like that energy is like putting your energy into those things are going to make you successful. I'm seeing that it's going to lead you into a new way of life though. So for those of you who are struggling real right now, this is not going to be that long lasting struggle energy is going to be an energy that is going to turn into bliss for you i'm also seeing love here as well i'm seeing scorpio cancer pisces even libra energy someone that was unfair to you is coming through so i'm seeing that this person lied to you all right and this person wants to come back once you also be a part of this journey that you are on right now and there's a lot of determination and success towards it but i'm also seeing some things that you do not know about within the moon and it's like i'm just getting like this energy of it's okay um like just listen to your heart and what your heart is telling you and let your heart heal lead you into this situation or out of the situation whatever your heart you know might want just listen to your heart i'm also seeing the queen of swords here okay so you're not speaking to this person that is coming through i'm also seeing pisces okay this person affected you mentally and there was a break and there was a lot of trials and tribulations because i'm seeing the history the pattern i'm seeing the death okay but you it's like you're getting like this understanding too so it's not like you're coming out of a, a connection with this person and not understanding you know what occurred here what needs to be improved like you just know what needs to happen here you know and you're thankful i'm just seeing like you're thankful for this experience and you're moving forward whatever that might mean for you okay whether it is leaving this relationship behind but i'm seeing like this relationship is coming back okay and this is the warning within the next 48 all right and we have your energy here so something about your mental state 
You know, you're trying to make sure that you're protecting yourself mentally from any kind of negative energy because you can't deal with it right now. I feel like a lot of you are definitely trying to heal, okay? You're still trying to heal. You're still trying to overcome that Ten of Swords energy. You know, all that trial and tribulation from your past and people that came into your life and heart and try to hurt you and disappoint you disappointed you you know all the disappointments from your family tree you know this could be your mother your father your sisters you know this could be your brothers this could be your cousins this could be your friends um, this could be people at work just people in general and they just really stabbed you in the back when you're trying to look for that love and that loyalty um, and you just need to overcome now you need to heal and you're constantly trying to do that within the Ten of Swords, within this Queen of Pentacles energy. But at the same time, seeing like you can't quit, you have to keep going because you have a lot of responsibility. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles here. Remember I told you, I said, hey, I saw that you need to stop spending or you just stop investing into things that is not really benefiting you. Another thing that I'm picking up gems you are such an amazing soul that you want to help your friends you want to help your family but you tend to overspend um just to make people happy and this is not good okay because it's really putting you in a place where you are going to be struggling and remember you have multiple things that you're also trying to work on and also trying to have those things be successful so really pay attention to these things okay all right, so I'm just seeing like identity um, crisis as well within a situation here. I'm also seeing the Nine of Swords energy. <sighs> wow, it's a lot of mental and physical situations that you were like facing and stress and depression and anxiety that you were, you know, just going through. This is what I'm seeing here. And I am seeing like you're going to overcome that. You're going to release that energy. This is what that is. I'm also seeing making a decision to move forward with something. And this could also be family that you're deciding to like, okay, continue the journey with as well within the next 48 hours. I'm also seeing like you're like rolling your eyes for some reason. You're rolling your eyes. You're being very demanding. You want more. And this could also be from the fact that you've been through a lot of struggles and you experience a lot of bull crap that you're just not going to experience or want to experience anymore. You know? So, you know, you're being very demanding here or it seems like it is. You know, you're done with the cycle with the wheel of fortune. You want a change. This is what you're looking for here. And then you have the Ten of um, Pentacles here. So Ten of Pentacles in reverse where it was a lot of, it was just a lot of, you know, going your way, people going their way, a lot of broken bridges as well. This is what I'm seeing here. <sighs> okay. A lot of loss, a lot of unfortunate fortunate situation that took place within your situation because you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Ten of Pentacles, you also have the Nine of Pentacles. So just know that I'm just picking up a whole bunch of change that have occurred. All right, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of swords energy not swords um wands energy seven of wands in reverse so there was a lot of um losing control or just feeling like you were the one on the outside looking in <laughs> that's what i'm i'm getting here like you were the one on the outside looking in But I'm also picking up there is an energy of just having things fall to the ground and losing every control and an energy of not giving an F. I, I want to say that <laughs> because I'm seeing like this person like not giving an F, like have everything fall to the ground, very overwhelming energy of the two of pentacles no change in the game so 
oh my gosh it's like it's going to be a little bit confusing for you because I'm just seeing like you're trying to move on within the next 48 hours you really have a lot of things on your back here but the the folks that you are dealing with is an energy that I'm picking up like these people it's not even worth it it's not even worth it right now because it's like they don't get it and if they don't get it they're gonna put you through the same ringer and this is where the unfortunate fortunate unlucky situations are occurred within the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune could also represent um, a huge cycle between these particular energy and someone is like I don't give a damn anymore I'm just letting shit like fall okay that's what I'm picking up here which is really crazy I'm seeing Scorpio I'm seeing Gemini Aquarius Taurus Leo um, I'm seeing the death which is Scorpio again <laughs> Scorpio's energy you guys all right those are major arcanas I'm seeing the Scorpio and the Wheel of Fortune as well I'm also seeing Libra major arcana I'm seeing the moon which is Pisces major arcana Taurus stubborn energy major arcana so all right so tell me more someone this libra keeps coming up i don't know who this libra is it could be a gemini or aquarius as well but they came up from the beginning of the reading and then i'm seeing this person coming up again where they're coming in to apologize okay and remember when we talked about the ten of swords energy a lot of swords in your back and this is really just affecting you mentally and physically this is what i'm seeing here like you block this person because this person was unjust and unfair to you this could be a motherly figure i just don't know like i'm just getting like this huge feminine energy that think that they are the authority of a situation so like this person is coming off as someone that you know could be older maybe a grandmother maybe your grand aunt or someone that is in control of the family or control of your life um your income or just have this emotional hole over you this could also be a person that is older than you that you're with as well this ten of swords is so strong right now for you and I'm also seeing like this is what it is you know that 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 feeling of this is what it is no investment in constant struggle <sighs> wow that is a little bit shocking because I'm seeing like the seven in reverse then I'm seeing like this five and that's a constant vibration that is coming up for you. Um, so you're always trying to keep your space. You're always fighting for your position. You're, someone is always coming after you, always testing you, always, you know, making you feel like or challenging you or, you know, it's just it is not in a nice way. And you're constantly trying to fight for that spot in your life, okay? I'm seeing like this could be about multiple people that you're overwhelmed with within the next 48. Or this could be someone that you are with because they're showing up as love, okay? So I'm seeing like the seven of cups in reverse here where you know this person could have had multiple partnerships okay and there was a lot of heartbreaking situation that have occurred within the five okay so 
emotional loss here, disappointment, and just a huge form of, of sadness, really, within this within this relationship. And this person is very egoistic and very drama orientated like they just love drama they love to have just a little thing turn into a huge thing and you're just like damn this is really overwhelming for me <laughs> you know and this is where it comes in where you're trying to like be more demanding tell this person what you truly want let you know set healthy boundaries you know as well and this person is just very like that energist energistic kind of vibe like very loud or trying to be more louder than you more powerful than you trying to act like what they say and whatever decision is made is going to be the final decision there's no compromise there as well okay <laughs> that's interesting so let me get into the divine deck and see the messages that comes out from here if you guys want to purchase my deck, you can hit me up in the description box. Well, hit me up. The, met the email is down in the description. All right, so let's just see what this is, Holy Spirit. What is the energy behind this? What is the advice for Geminis within the next 48? Okay. Ooh, one at a time, one at a time. I'm also seeing journey alone but it says that you have angel gabrielle looking over you and it's like a lot of you want to give up it's like i'm getting an energy of giving up and the angel is like that <laughs> oh wow making an audience um angel gabrielle is letting you know to keep going keep moving forward do not stop a lot of you feel like you want to stop you want to move you want to move towards the past or you want to move backwards or you just want to let everything go okay um let's see here i'm also seeing number 15 self-worth footsteps recovery healing letting go self-doubt uncertainty here and this is a lot like a lot of five um energies so a lot of like low vibration energy that you're facing like loss or you're facing um you know hardship when it comes to stability when it comes to jobs when it comes to you know quality of life um you're just constantly going through that and the crazy thing is i told you like when i started this read i said like be careful with your spending you know because i'm just seeing like Gemini's you are like so much fun, but you know you cannot spend your rent money, right? You just can't <laughs> Or your mortgage money you can't get if you don't have it You're not going to be the downer of the party because you don't have it You just have to say you don't have it. You can't right now and that's final You think Scorpios are going to spend their rent money? No, you know that's why they're so alone all the time you just don't care don't care but you're social butterflies so you want everyone to be happy around you but it says that you need to put yourself first and take your time you know you're not going to be a pro um right off the bat just because you're saying oh my god i'm going to change some things about my life i'm going to set boundaries with these folks that are coming up just know that no one is perfect and take your time here with this self-worth card um and know that you know you're still on track because it says uncertainty like you just don't know if you're on the right path you feel lost you feel like you wasted a lot of time like you have missed an opportunity just know that the holy spirit wants you to know like you're still where you need to be and guess what all is well do you see this beautiful card good karma good karma all is well people are finally coming to the park you guys i feel like these are the the people that um because i'm just seeing trucks so they want to fish okay <laughs> they want to fish all right so let's see. let's see so sorry for the noise Ooh. so there's going to be some form of relationship coming into your life i i really don't see like if it's this one i really don't see that is this one 
um, I feel like you have another option with another person. So, because this person has shown up that they were unfair to you. This person was shown up that they lied to you. This person was showing up that you blocked them and they're coming in and apologizing um, for doing that um, particular situation. But there is this energy of 10, surrender to love. And I feel like this could be the Holy Spirit just letting you know to surrender to love. Even though you've been hurt, you've been going through the 10 of swords, you've been trying to heal. Um, there's just a lot of things happening within your life, a lot of transitions. And the universe was wants you to continue to be that vibrant light and love, you know? So it says, it's, you're okay here. So... I just feel like within that energy like there is going to be someone new coming into your life and the angels want you to know like you're okay here you don't have to worry about the past situations that you have been through and judge that relationship judge those relationships with what is coming in now like please have faith all right because there's going to be a lot of confusion there's going to be a lot of you know moments where you're not going to trust because of this moon especially when the moon is um very much bright and really um, visible um, within if you live in the country like I do I can see the moon a lot so and it's right like right like shining on my window um, so I, I feel that energy something to do with the number 18 a lot of you could be seeing number 18 a lot number 15 number 10 <laughs> But, you know, the Holy Spirit is just letting you know that, you know, the advice is to know that everything is going to be okay. Know that to trust within your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Because the moon is all about intuition here. And it's all, it's all right here within the heart, right? So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Ooh, yeah. Soulmate connection. A lot of you are doing manifestation. And, ooh, I like this message. I like this message okay so I'm hearing that you're gonna have to go through some hardships right you're gonna go oh my god let's see wow another 10 tell me more butterfly keep the hope alive yellow butterfly y'all keep the hope alive and what does it say here listen to your intuition what an amazing message okay because I was feeling that for you within the moon energy within the moon energy i was feeling that for you but what i was picking up here was that the holy spirit was saying that your love life is going to be protected okay so there's someone that is coming in and i knew that that was the energy it says manifest in perfect partnerships maybe even a past life karmic relationship so this could be the person Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo. this could be the person, but I really don't feel like this Libra. Let me clarify. Let me clarify this energy because this Libra keeps coming up. Tell me more about this Libra energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Guides. What's this Libra energy? What is this Libra energy? What is this Libra energy for Gemini? The next 48. Who is this Libra energy? What is this contract? Okay, let's see. This is saying like, ooh, and the moon is heightened. The stars are aligning. Okay, tell me more. Okay. Okay. This could have been someone special. This is what I'm getting, but I'm not seeing three of swords in the back. This this is not the same person that is coming in. So the angels are revealing like you have the eight of wands energy. Oh shit, somebody was here. <laughs> the eight of wands energy, that scared the shit out of me. I didn't even see that person. The eight of wands energy, you have the ace of cups energy. You also have the queen of cups energy here that is showing up, right? Or the queen of, yeah, the queen of cups. So it's like, I'm seeing like this could have been something because this person really truly care about you. And this happened very quickly. Like this energy, this is what I'm picking up. Like they, they seen you and it was kind of like love at first sight for them. 
but then it's like really just quickly ended like i'm just seeing an end between you and this person's energy okay um and i'm also seeing here that it's like i'm just seeing like this um Like this person likes you a lot but it was just everything was on a pause and it was a third party situation okay third party situation tell me more about this person two of swords like they had questions they were having confusions they were having doubts about the situation um they need to make a, a decision they feel like you are and you're crazy because they're they're just looking at you as like a friend oh my god a caterpillar <laughs> they're looking at you as a friend you guys and they're looking at you as you know, someone that they have this crazy connection with. Um, but they don't know if this is going to survive. And then they look at you as being pretty strong energy here. Okay, pretty strong energy. So the high priestess. But the tower... Scorpio and Aries being in the back here. Then you have the sun energy. So I'm just getting like this could be some kind of fire energy that you're dealing with. This person, you know, when there's no drama, I'm also seeing like they make you very happy here okay like when you slash you and them and no one else is involved like if there is no noise or no lesson then you guys are gonna survive but if there is a lesson that is coming up within your situation and when I say lessons you know noise you know the test the test you know your relationship for a relationship to be strong it has to go through something it has to go through something and it's how it's how much you want it right it's how much you want that person but you can go through problems with a person but as long as the respect is there I, I feel like um, you can make it right but when there is no respect within the connection and someone is calling you out like you're calling you names and making you feel less than a person manipulating you because they feel manipulated um, when you're dealing with a, a reverse energy then it's really hard um, and I feel like this person is showing up as reverse okay I don't need to have um, a certain cards like the devil energy or um the emperor in reverse to know that this person is reverse by the fact that they looked at you and know that they cared about you in a way that they haven't cared about anyone before and then there was that something happened very quickly and then suddenly there is this like end and there's this delay and there's no conversation <sighs> that's crazy that is giving me vibes like this person has communication issues but I'm seeing a new person coming into your life and the crazy thing about this is like you need to like trust within the universe a lot of you are trying to make your own um, your own life you know your own destiny meeting anyone and trying to settle down with them and that is just not what the universe want you to do so it's all about self awareness and self love here and it's crazy because you had this card that came through, right? With that, with that um, self worth energy, like you need to take this walk on your own. It's just two legs here. It's not multiple legs. This is just your journey, okay? For healing, overcoming, um, forgiveness, okay? 
And it says recovery, healing, letting go. Letting go of things that you can change, you know? Letting go of people that said things about you and, you know, scammed you, whatever the situation is. Letting go of all of that. You can hold on to that and heal yourself, right? And letting go of people planting negative seeds in your head and say, you can't do this, you will never be that. You know, because they feel that way about themselves. And I'm sorry if that ever happened to you, Geminis. It's just crazy. The Holy Spirit want you to be certain because you have a lot of uncertainty around you, energy right now. And the Holy Spirit wants you to be very certain when you're going to be with someone that you truly love or you deserve okay and don't worry angel michael is protecting it your ancestors are behind this look at it, it says archangels and loved ones okay number 444 protector and it came out with this energy but the holy spirit is like choose me or choose yourself you know choose yourself choose the light choose peace choose the sunset choose the world you know um but this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates because you are a spiritual being. So accept it. Accept it. You are spiritual. Okay. And that's on period. But this is what I have. Hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. Um, and yeah. Sorry I'm looking around you guys because I have to watch my surroundings. This is the park. No one is really here. It's a huge place. Um, there's cars coming in and out. Of course, they're just going here to go to the bathroom, of course. So, but you still have to watch your surroundings, you know? <laughs> Love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next one.